All right, folks, Rick here. I'm back with another video. I just attempted to do a tempered glass screen protector installation video on my OnePlus 8T. It failed miserably. Um, I purchased it from this company on Amazon called Unique Me. Sucks. Part of the reason why it really went bad is the bumper. As you can see, not to make this a OnePlus 8T video, the bumper was sliding up and down, and basically rendering this useless. So we're gonna try it with a different brand for my Samsung S20 FE. This is Tori, Toro. Uh, I purchased this on Amazon as well. Uh, screen protector for the camera as well as a screen protector for the front of the device. So we're gonna try to go through this whole setup. Here is the screen protector for the camera on the back. So we're gonna have that. Uh, one of the main reasons why I wanted to case it and put a screen protector is I really hate the sound of this plastic back. It really makes it look cheap. I really wish they would have went with a glass back. Probably cost them a couple pennies extra, but what the heck. Moving forward, I always fail miserably in the screen protector videos. The last one that I made failed horribly. I got a lot of flack online for it. So let's just try to go through this as quick as possible. No editing just a straight video. Okay, so here's what you have in the box. You have a bumper as well. I tried it out, seems to fit perfectly, so you're not gonna have any issues. Again, you have your glass for the cutout here. You have two of them in case you mess it up. Uh, get some free extra gifts straight from China. Uh, you have your screen protector, of course, and you have this little bag of gifts here not gifts, the little bag of the things that you have to use to get the screen as clean as possible. Okay, so let's see what we got. You have a little squeegee. This is made out of cardboard with a little piece of cloth at the end to uh, push out any air bubbles that you may have when you try it on. Uh, in the past, oh actually, let's just keep going through this. You have some alcohol pads. You have a microfiber cleaning cloth. And then you have your, um, your dust absorbing stickers. Okay, so let's move forward with that. We're gonna use these wet wipes. I'm surprised there aren't any dry alcohol pads here. They usually come with wet and dry, but it is what it is. I have a cloth here, it's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and continue forward. All right, so. Add this on here, wipe it down. So one of my biggest concerns here is obviously dust and debris getting on the screen. Before we go ahead and um, before we go ahead and um, put the screen protector on, you want to make sure everything is off. Let me use this microfiber cloth to just clean everything off. Okay, let's get this all clean. And we're gonna use the absorbent stickers. I like these bigger stickers because it gets a lot more surface area and we're just gonna keep wiping until there's definitely nothing here. And let's see, okay, let's do that. Now we're gonna get these stickers. Really, all right, start tapping the stickers on here. I'm very monotonous, methodical. Everything on there. Let's see what we have. Okay. All right, let me give it a look over. And make sure there's no dust on here. Okay. Sorry, I gotta take it out of the camera angle just to see. That looks good. No dust. I'm surprised at how easily this one is going compared to my last video, but I guess what they say, you get what you pay for. All right, so let's put this on this bumper here. Uh, Samsung FE, I'm pretty sure this is the top. Let's go ahead and place that on there. Give it one last dusting. Again, you never be too careful with the dust. Every time I tap it, I see a piece of dust fall right back on it. So, definitely something you wanna be vigilant about. Because once you put it on there and a piece of dust 
gets stuck into the, the glue of the adhere shin, then you're just screwed. And you have to just reapply with a new one. So let's go, I'm gonna start pulling this off slowly to prevent any dust from getting on here. And if my head goes in the angle, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna try my best to put this on here without getting any dust. Right. Let's see, that's on there. Let's see if we got it on there correctly. That's another thing. So, let's see. All right, so we do have some air bubbles, but I just want to see if we have full coverage first. We seem to have full coverage. So what I'm going to do is take this little squeegee, squeegee out any particles that may be in there. I see bubbles in here that I don't want to be seeing, but let's see if we can get them out and squeegee them. I'm being told for most of these case manufacturers, as long as you squeegee most of those big air pockets out of there by the following day, whatever bubble residue is there should dissipate. So we'll, we'll see if that indeed does happen tomorrow. But this one went fairly smooth. Everything is lined up the way it should be. As long as your bumper is the accurate size. Not to go on a rant, we have quite a few air bubbles. But I'll tell you, I purchased the UV light glue one uh, for my S20 um, Ultra, S20, my Note 20 Ultra. And glue got in the speaker grill, it was a pain in the ass, and I told myself I would never go with those UV light liquid glue ones ever again. A friend of mine recommended it, and I was just not a fan. These, if you screw up, you mess up, you peel it off, you could try it two or three more times, and then after that, you may have to go with a second protector, but I prefer that than having that. So these bubbles don't seem to be going away. I'm gonna give it till tomorrow. I don't see any dirt or any dust trapped there from what my naked eye could pick up, but that was a pretty easy install for me. If you have any questions, even in the comments section below, I'll make an update and uh, let you guys know uh, if those bubbles did indeed go away by tomorrow. Thanks a lot, guys.